Hey, good afternoon. I'm John. This is Proper Wing Kitchen and Bottle Shop. We're the plate of the week. Why don't you come on in and check it out? If you feel inclined, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Today we're in Murphy, Texas, just northeast of Dallas to savor some amazing chicken wings. I'm Patrick, host of the Lone Star Plate Podcast, and this is Plate of the Week, where we highlight a Texas restaurant we feel is worth a trip. And this week, we chose Proper Wing Kitchen and Bottle Shop. According to the National Chicken Council, yes, that's a real thing, 1.42 billion chicken wings were eaten in 2022 during the Super Bowl alone. And the state that ate the most? Maryland. And that's just where John happens to be from, so you know you're in good wings. Chef John and I actually go way back as we have worked together in the past and have always stayed in contact. When I found out he was doing a chicken wing spot, we had to check it out. With a healthy start, they just opened early 2022, they are on their way to becoming a neighborhood staple. So let's take a behind the scenes look, behind the line with Chef John. What we do here is we do um, kind of a new and fresh take on chicken wings, right? So we do chicken wings, we do craft bottle beer, we have about 40 beers all in bottles and cans, kind of take advantage of the new regulations that allow us to do delivery. So we do bone-in chicken wings, classic chicken wings, boneless, we do tenders, we do beyond vegan tenders, we do chicken sandwiches, everything that's like all the good little parts of chicken that we can sauce up, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's all about the sauce for us here. Sauces and spices all scratch made in-house. Um, we do all the classics, you know, if you're buffalo, lemon pepper, you know, barbecue, kind of garlic parmesan lovers, we do all those things, play the classics true, and then come up with some new and interesting things, right? Because when it comes to chicken wings, people are willing to try new and different flavors, um, maybe more so than other concepts, right? Like the chicken wing is like a, it's just a great food because everybody loves it. It's not like this exclusive high-end thing, but we can still experience some great uh, new and interesting flavors. So this is something that um, I created for us here. Okay, I was gonna say, wow. This is typically like um, uh, like a pizza rack, right? Where you get like the pizzas on the, sorry, on the, the dealie. And then like, they're all like lined up in here, right? So I literally like hacksawed off some of the bars right there oh. so that I could like throw my, my bowls in here and stack them up and um, you know, you have your Moroccan, you got your jerk, you got your Chipotle lime, just everything all, all lined up and ready to go. Um, we've got our buffalo, we've got our uh, barbecue, our honey hot, our cherry stout, mango, our Korean barbecue, our gochujang barbecue, adobo, all the sauces in the bottles up here. Basically, you come in and you start to work on what your chicken options are. So you've got your bone-in chicken wings. There, we do naked chicken wings, not breaded. Um, we do, you know, drums and flats. We do boneless dark chicken wings, right? So uh, boneless chicken wings, um, often done with nuggets of chicken breast. To me, it's just kind of like bland and dry. I always like the dark meat, so we do ours with chicken thighs. If you like white meat, great. We've got tenders. Uh, not strips, not fingers, right? Like not, not carved up pieces of chicken breast, but like the actual chicken tender. So we do like a nice uh, Asian inspired slaw with fresh ginger and sesame. And we do a uh, great Caesar salad, you know, the same sauce making skills it takes to make good wing sauces also helps us, you know, great, make great salad dressings. Our Caesar's no exception to that. Um, we do a chicken and waffle set up. We do a classic Belgian waffle. And we also do a watermelon mint salad, which is, especially in the summertime, one of our favorites. We notice like the second it gets like, every five degrees warmer it gets, we get like 5% more like watermelon salad. So like everybody's getting that now. Right? You just had some uh, saucy, spicy, fried buffalo wings. And now like, what are you gonna have to kind of like counterbalance that, right? So we've got our watermelon salad and our slaw and these things that are refreshing and fresh and travel well too. It's kind of nice when people order online like versus like having to take my staff to clean the dining room and greet the guests and walk up to the menu. It's like half the work is done and now we just gotta to execute. That part's nice. I think we found in our evolution when people first came out, they wanted to like come and see it. This is a new unknown thing. So everybody came in and ordered it in person and now we get a lot more online. Like once it came out, they were like, all right, this is good. 
Now I know I can just order this online. I know what I like. I know what I, you know what flavors are good. Um, now they just c can cut right to the chase. Order, come pick it up on the way home, and then on their way. Usually they put on music. I think they're uh, scared to oh, put it on right now. Oh, y'all put it on. Don't worry about me. It's fine. I promise. I'm a Bieber fan, so if y'all got any. <laughs> so we just take some some garlic and some whole couple yeah, pounds of butter, delicious. just roast it over a couple of hours, really like slow and low. Roasted garlic puree. You know, it's like one of the things that we do that I just don't think you'll typically find um, at, a, at a wing joint. You know, I just don't, I think that we do some things that are outside of the box and outside of the norm and I think that helps set us apart. Um, it's not, it's not terribly complicated, you know, like 99% of the stuff back here that, uh, you know, my, my staff does it all. Like, I didn't want this to be like my, um, the thing where like, I'm the only guy that can like perfect these sauces. No, like they're, they're relatively easy and I teach my guys how to, my team here, how to make them all. Um, but, uh, you know, and they love it because they're doing some real cooking. They're not just taking things out of the box and sure. putting it right on the plate. Yeah, like, I think when people get a plate of this with this, like, you know, it's been dressed in this, like, just velvety garlic puree, the aroma is different. You know, so we also do all the house-made dips, of course. You've got your blue cheese, you've got your scratch ranch, you've got, we call it comeback sauce. This is, like, your creamy honey mustard sauce. And one of our favorites we call green Gucci. This is this Peruvian sauce. They, the Peruvian, they serve with their rotisserie chicken, the salsa uh, aji verde. And we just... I used to make it for like some of my cooks for staff meal, right? And they'd always be like, chef, are you gonna make that Gucci sauce again? <laughs> and so like the name just stuck for me. Uh, I just Gucci thought it was like, it, I just thought it was funny. Something? Gucci mean good? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's, Gucci means that's what the good. kids say. Yeah, the that's what they tell say, me. Yeah, yeah. The kid, that's what the kids tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we just thought that was like a funny name. And like, it, you're making wings, like you have like a little room to like have some fun with it, right? Like it's, it should be like a little like tongue in cheek, a little I mean, reverent. Yeah, and are fun. Yeah, right? yeah, it's supposed to be like a fun, a fun thing like we didn't want to come across as like too artsy and chefy and whatever you know um, that's interesting like you thought that might scare some people away it, it is something that it was in the back of my mind you know as as a chef like uh, yeah like I've, I've got a, a serious um, a back a yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, a, like a serious uh, fine dining background and I didn't want people to be like oh these are too chefy, right? Like it's got to be like the right balance because we want to make everything in house. We want to impress upon people that it's it's a little better, a little different. That we've done things, you know, fresher and with an original take on it. But we also don't want people to be like scared off because sometimes people are like they don't want to hear about like being maybe too fancy, right? So we just like walk that line of like it's still fun, but it's just like we're having fun here and, and doing it with this with, with this setup, but it's not trying to be. Uh, too out there and too intimidating, right? Yeah. John has extensive fine dining experience being the executive chef for some of the best restaurants in Dallas. He's worked with chef Jose Andres, who named him as executive chef for Zaytinia in Frisco. And before that, Stampede 66, Stephen Pyle's flagship restaurant, which is one place we work together. He most recently was the executive chef for fine dining powerhouse Yardbird in downtown Dallas, serving some of the best Southern food in town. You know, wings are like that thing where it's like, hey, I got the sauce, it's crazy hot, it's gonna melt your face off. People won't buy that if you put on anything else except for maybe like a taco, That's a right? You got tacos and you got wings and you got, you got this, this sort of attitude that you can take with them to like make the flavors you fun. Almost expect it. Almost, almost expect, expect the challenge, yeah, right? Yeah. Like some people will like come in like, am I gonna cry if I eat this? I'm like, probably. And they're like, all right, let's do I'll it. Let's do it, man. Yeah, Today's yeah. the day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry today. <laughs> like, day. Nobody, like where else are you gonna get like, hey, I've got the steak sauce that you're gonna put on your ribeye and yeah, it's gonna yeah. make you cry. Totally. You're like, yeah, let's yeah. do it. No, nobody does that. So, but they do it here, That's you know? Funny. We try to start with like, make it taste good first, make it really flavorful first, and then you can dial up the heat to however much, however much you need. Um, so most of our sauces and spices aren't like melt your face off hot, but they can get there. Yeah. Um, What's the hottest sauce y'all have? So we do a ghost pepper buffalo sauce. Ghost pepper is the third hottest pepper on the planet. It's pretty intense. It's got good flavor too. Are it's y'all using like extract or like ghost, the actual like, ghost like pepper? Like ground ghost pepper okay. uh, spice. Um, wow. 
that we, that we just add in, in tiny amounts, but we, we do it to order. And, um, you know, when the guys like open up the canister, it's got the ghost in there. Everybody's like sneezing and coughing in the back. Everybody's eyes are watering. <laughs> oh. These suggested pairings we call our proper pairs. So these are some of our like unique things you won't find anywhere else that we've matched together. Um, so you, maybe you've got a spice and a dip, or a sauce and a dip, or a spice and a sauce, or whatever. We just mix and match things that we think go well together that you won't necessarily pick out from the menu on your own, unless yeah. you had some guidance to get there. I'm a, I'm a buffalo guy. Like, I just love buffalo wings, right? And if I go to a place that has wings, um, I'm getting like whatever quantity I want and all of them are going to be buffalo, yeah. right? Like, you know, we, we do a lot of mix and match, right? Like if you get yeah. 20 wings, you can get four flavors, you know, yeah, I'd be yeah. like, great, give me 20 buffalo. You know, everybody, 90% of our customers I know, it's like they get as many different flavors as they can, which is awesome. Yeah. So we want people to see like all the different flavors that we do. But um, that's, that's one of the, I did when I came. That's I one of the challenges it. for me is to like, how do I make other sauces that make me want to choose something other than like the buffalo sauce that I that I always go towards. So when I talk about like real buffalo, I'm talking like Anchor Bar style and like they have butter in their recipe. So we finish that with butter, keep the butter hot. Now the history of chicken wings is more or less clear. And according to the internet, we all know the internet is never wrong. Buffalo wings were invented in the USA almost 70 years ago. The story goes, in the early 1950s, a man named Robert Reinhardt gave his idea for hot sauce with butter over fried wings to his friends at a place called The Anchor Bar in Buffalo, New York. It's been a staple ever since. Let us know in the comments what you know about the history of Buffalo Wings. I do draw on like my experience as a chef. Like we worked together, we met at this restaurant. You and I, Patrick, yeah, <laughs> met at this restaurant, Samar, um, that, that uh, we did Spanish food, we did Eastern Mediterranean food, and we did Indian food. We had basically like three separate menus um, and tapas style. And like, I still like go back to that experience at times. I've got a, a dish we call tikka masala here, but we called it butter chicken there. It's a the, the classic Indian dish. If you've ever been to any buffet, you've seen this dish. It's like the number one Indian dish uh, in this country, oh, in yeah. England. It's England's national dish, but you know, you don't see it on wings typically, but we make ours and we put it on wings and guess what? It's awesome. Like, um, and that's, that's like what we do, right? So like, you know, some people say oh, like, oh, buffalo is just ordinary. You find that everywhere. And like, that's true. Like I want our buffalo to be a representative of like the best buffaloes. And I don't want to get too crazy with it and get too far off track where if you come in here and you love buffalo and you, you want to have it, then you give them something that's like too chefy and tweaked out. They'd be like, what is this? What is this it? isn't yeah. buffalo sauce. This okay. is this is something else. So, leave the classics pure and give people what they expect when they expect a buffalo or a lemon pepper. Like that's what you're going to get. So we're looking for that like nearly crispy skin. Um, obviously, totally like cooked through, but you can kind of hear it like crunching just a little bit. That's what we're looking for. You don't want that like gummy soft uh, chicken skin going on. So this one, we cook down fresh cherry juice um, to give it the tartness. That's like our answer to vinegar in the sauce. So we use a tart cherry, not a dark cherry. And then uh, we simmer that down with uh, liquid stout, and just like that like deep flavor. It smells so good. And then it's just like... I'm having a hard time. <laughs> that smells so good. Maybe 20, I think it's 29 different flavors on the menu at the moment, um, which is like, a quarter of what I've brainstormed to do. And so, you know, as, as we go on, I'll run some specials with different flavors that I have in mind to do. You know, so we, we talked about the beer a little bit, right? So like, here's our beer cooler with all of our, our beers and our seltzers and all this good stuff. And like, we start our beers at 250 for these local craft cans. You can mix and match a 12 pack for under 12 bucks of craft beers. So when you come up and you order your wings, we're gonna drop your wings. We order your tenders, we're gonna take your, it's a two and a half ounce to three ounce tender that we're gonna bread by hand and fry. And that's just too long for you to sit there and wait. Places that do that at the window and you're just pulling up the window, they're batching it out and it's just sitting there waiting for you. All right, so all four tenders are gonna go ghost buffalo. And then you got the two tenders gonna get honey hot. I think the thing that Chef John does so well is create good, flavorful food. As long as I've known him, he's never made a bad dish, and this concept is no different. 
His knowledge of food in the industry will blow you away, and the way he uses that knowledge has become John's superpower. Not all heroes wear capes, some wear aprons. So as we wrap up the dealie, we want to thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed the show. Please leave a like down below, it really helps us out. And if you're in Murphy, Texas, drop into Proper Wing Kitchen and Bottle Shop and tell them Lone Star Plate sent you. I'm Patrick and this was Plate of the Week. See you next time.